What's up guys, we're back for another episode of The God of High School and right now everyone is in the middle of a battle royale. Just punching and kicking anybody that they can. Now, I'm pretty sure Mori, Han, and Mira have to pass this test, right? I mean, they're not gonna introduce these characters, make them all friends, and then have some of them lose. That, that can't happen. And not to mention that when they introduced this like super strong guy who needed to be handicapped, he just immediately got hit by Mira and then Mori. And as we all know, the episode ended with Mori versus that guy midair, ready to go all out. And here we are. So without further ado, let's get into the episode. What the hell, the Pentagon? Oh, the incident on the island. Cherry Yolk? Is that a person or a group or what? Oh, it's the park guy. I'm pretty sure he's the one who caused that explosion on the island since they showed us that phone call in episode one. Wait, what? It's already over? So this Mujin guy is behind all of this tournament? <laughs> What? He's just trying to be friends. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, come on, he was just borrowing it. <laughs> Man, she really doesn't want to be friends with them, huh? Wait, they healed his broken spine? So he's basically like Goku. <laughs> oh, someone he cares about is in the hospital? Ooh, her family has a sword dojo? I guess that explains her skills. <laughs> Yo, that is straight up Mira's fault. Why did she just ask for him to give it back? Yo! Alright, so she's pissed that he accidentally threw her sword in the river, which was probably important to her. But how is that his fault? If you want somebody to give you something that they have in their hand, just ask for it. Hey, this peanut butter jar looks pretty good. Hey man, uh, actually that's mine, so can you just give it back? Sure, here you go. Now you see how easy that was? Now imagine this. Hey, this peanut butter jar looks pretty good. Give that back! It's understandable why the guy would be like, Oh, shit! Wait, find a successor? Why isn't she the successor? Can that not happen? Her only wish to find a successor for the sword. Well, by the looks of it, it looks like Mori's gonna be that successor. What the hell? Where did Han get that huge ass light? <laughs> oh wait. So this is it. If they pass this, they will be part of the official tournament. Is that his first opponent? Oh my gosh, why is this guy trying to pick fights in here? Did he just make him bleed with air? <laughs> oh, hold up, Mira's match is the first one? Yeah, that guy's trash. <laughs> Alright, that guy's trash as well. <laughs> Wait, the form's different from who? Is he comparing him to someone? Wait, is that the guy who reads books while fighting? Yo, he doesn't even try. Yo, Han really packs a punch, doesn't he? 
Is that guy blind or does he just always have his eyes closed for some reason? Oh, he wants to fight him at full power? Well, he better win because if he loses now, he's gonna look pretty stupid. What the hell? Yo, is this guy like an airbender or something? <laughs> look at that! His punches are so goddamn fast that it takes a while for the wind to keep up. Uh, is he even gonna make it in time? Holy crap! What the hell? You can't knock that guy down! Alright, well he's got one arm now. Look at that one arm, and he's winning the fight already. What the hell, man? No wonder they tied his arms up. Ah, that ain't no goddamn Taekwondo. He's freaking fighting to kill him. Look at that. It was for survival in the war. I mean, he probably learned it from, like, some YouTube videos. Oh shit, he's still not giving up. Dang, and he has his eyes closed. Wait, what just happened? Repel the force with equal force. Yeah, that guy's strong. <laughs> Look at that, he's just straight up disrespecting him now. Yeah, this guy enjoys hurting people. Dang, what's this? That guy acts so tough, but he got humiliated by this one guy. Enough to be begging like a little baby? I guess that just proves how much of a bitch he really is. Nah, man, only a wimp would do that. Yeah, that's right, man. That's that willpower. Wait, what? Does he even need both hands at this point? Okay. I know they can fix their injuries, but he's just torturing him at this point. Aw, oh, shit. Wait, what the hell? Mori stepping in? Holy crap! Is Mori actually that strong? Yeah, he was interfering. He did break the rules. Oh yeah, he's probably super mad. Man, that guy really got traumatized, didn't he? <laughs> Who the hell are these people? <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Is that like some type of special key that makes you strong? What the hell? Is that it? That purple magic thing? Yo, hold up. He doesn't even care. Look at that! Faster than freaking sound! Oh shit! Oh, it's the park guy, but... What the hell, man? He didn't even fight, he just shot some, like, magic. Head of the tournament? Alright, he's important. Dang, they're gonna punish Mori. Oh, the people are actually rooting for him. <laughs> Alright, well, let's hope his punishment isn't too bad. Ah, who am I kidding? It's gonna be really bad. <laughs> Dang, this anime really has some intense fights, huh? And the best part is that they happen, like, every episode. So, first of all, we saw that this one tournament is gonna be decided by 
one-on-one -on -one fights determined by the brackets so yeah basically the strongest fighter is gonna be the one who will pass this tournament and move on to i guess the real tournament where the best of the best are now as we all saw the fight between kong and that other dude was really one-sided as soon as kong released just one of his hands because with just one hand he was punching the shit out of the other guy but obviously him being a piece of shit he didn't just end the fight he just straight up wanted to torture the other person and he was telling him to beg and to ask for forgiveness like what let's be real here only a real wimp would do that and of course they showed that kong in the past has done that so yeah i got no respect for that guy but here's where the interesting thing happened he was taken in by some girl who was disappointed and said that he wouldn't be able to use yeah i'm probably gonna mispronounce this but forgive me cherry oak and then the government when they were analyzing what happened on that island they also suggested that it was caused by this cherry oak thing and it seems like it's some sort of magic i guess because at the end this park guy was able to knock out mori from afar with just wind and he did not cause that by throwing a powerful punch or kick nah that would require way too much force my guess is that he is able to use this cherry oak thing but also kong did use it as well didn't he i mean he threw some like purple magic stuff however mori being a badass he just didn't care jumped over it and knocked the guy out and the whole stadium was cheering for him since they didn't like the fact that kong was just being a total dick and torturing the guy so they were glad that mori stepped in but i get it he did break the rules and he wasn't supposed to do that so he will be punished i just hope that his punishment isn't pain related like they're not gonna torture him or anything right let's hope not anyways a very cool episode with some very important information but i'll see you guys in the next episode and i hope you guys stick around